Hey everyone, um, hope you're having a good day today. I'm just gonna record a really quick video right now on the RevDiz um, staking calculator that is on the Alluvium website and kind of in simplest terms how to use it. And I'll make this really brief and I'll also go through doing it on an Android phone as well. I would do iPhone, but they're very similar and I don't really have an iPhone at my disposal currently. So it's just gonna have to be like this. Um, firstly, to find the pinned staking calculator, there's lots of them out there, but this one is probably a good one to use, especially if you're not sure what you're doing. Um, namely because it's updated quite frequently. I mean, it's in the Alluvium Discord, so they're pretty up to date and pretty good at getting all the data correct. Um, this data, this information can change a lot faster than you might expect. Um, so first we'll just go over to the Alluvium Discord. Um, that's the symbol right there. And we jump down to the staking section. I'll show you this on the mobile version as well, but just about halfway down, I think, on a, a bit closest to the top staking right there. And then you just want to check pinned messages. Okay. There's usually a few things here, but what you want to look for is you want to look for the one with the URL that has docs.google in it. That will be the Google sheet and it will say Alluvium calculators. Okay. So you just want to click that. Now, I know this can look overwhelming at first, but there's only some of it you kind of need to know what it's about to get the information you're after. I've just bumped it up to 200% there. Um, I might just close my webcam for this so that you guys can see everything. Um, okay. Now, you'll notice that you have the information here and you can't really change it. If I went up to 10 and I tried to change this number, it's not gonna let me do anything. Okay, and I'll explain the sheet in a second. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to file, make a copy. Okay. And this is just in my Google drive. Um, alternatively, you could go to file, um, download as an Excel spreadsheet, and that should work as well. But for this case, just to make things easy, I'm going to make a copy and I'm just going to name it Scoriox sheet. Let's just do that. Okay. And then what it's going to do is it's going to make a copy of the document. This separates the locking mechanism that is on the document. So there's two sides to this. The first side is that if the original poster updates it, you will never get any of the updates, but now you can edit it. So maybe you'll come back in a week or two and adjust some numbers and things. Probably the easiest depending on how the price has fluctuated. If it's about the same, then you don't really need to bother. But if it's changed a lot, like if I have this 900 or 950 and you want the really correct information, you go back in and you have to do this all over again. Um, unfortunately, that's just the, the nature of this sort of thing. Okay. Now, a lot of this information, you shouldn't really be touching, okay? The big ones you wanna to touch are these five here. Um, on this sheet, I'm just going to make them green so that you can see what I'm talking about. Let's make the text dark. These five here are big ones. And these two here as well. Are really important. Um, this part down here, you can edit, but I wouldn't really bother. Um, technically, it seems like you can edit all these parts that were green. I think these were green a second ago. Um, by the looks of it. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to to put in the information currently have, okay? And now really quickly, I might actually just jump into the Alluvium staking dashboard so I can really quickly show that. I really don't want this video to be too long. Um, so just log into my MetaMask. Okay, so if you go to the dashboard on your Alluvium, you'll be able to, when it loads, <laughs> you'll be able to see what you have staked at the moment. This is me, full disclosure. Um, I bought a couple of my ILV at about 400. I think one at 600. They're a bit spread out at this point. I bought two and 800 recently, but they're not even staked yet. I'm waiting for some things to happen. But in this example, it'll be 2.42 and 0.87. You just go here to staked SLP, which was 0.87 and ILV was 2.42, okay? Unclaimed rewards, actually claimed quite recently. It's only 0 0.11, it's just up here. 0 
RLV RevDiz doesn't really come into it yet. I guess you can use that later. SLV. I don't think I have any. 0.15k. Um, USD invested. I did do this at one point, but that's just kind of like if I bought ILV a bunch of different times, the average buy price for it. But you've also got to consider the average buy price for any Ethereum you put in the SLP pool. Okay. Um, and this is my current amounts as it stands. That's it. It shows here the value 3,253. It's probably going to be a little bit different. 3,373 because all the prices have gone up a bit today in the past couple of days. It was updated quite recently though. Um, and staking weight. You should really change that depending. I, I've got two staking rate on everything at the moment. That's just when you put the bar to the very end and you lock it up for a year basically. And I did not know SLP was eligible for RevDiz. I need to research that for my next video. <laughs> okay. Sometimes once you do this, it'll take a little bit of time to update throughout the sheet. I think it already has. But let's just quickly talk about this prediction section because this is really what it's all about. And just for this video, we're just going to look at the one year prediction. But basically, this talks about the monthly revenue. Now, with RevDiz, this monthly revenue is going to be given to all the token holders based on what percentage of the tokens they hold. Okay, I do not hold much at the moment. But basically, this is just someone's predictions. These are not actual figures. However, the monthly revenue for Axie, I believe, is correct. I believe that is what Axie made at the peak, at the peak of its, I don't know, in its prime, when it was doing really, really well. Um, and this is talking about how many tokens are in circulation and such, because there are some that are still locked up and they're not getting any revenue distribution, so they don't count. And this is what would count after one year, and it would increase after three years. Now, the only other bit of information that's important is these figures on the right here. And this is just telling you if you invested every two weeks or every month or whatever, including how much the fees might cost, um, how much ILV you would have after one year. So if I um, claimed my rewards every two weeks, I would have 22.197. Every week, 22.263. So it's just a little bit more, but you can actually look at the, um, the gas fees and how much more it becomes. It's like double if it's every week, which makes perfect sense because it's twice the amount. Sorry if I'm going too fast. I'm trying to get this done quickly. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, personally, I like to look at the realistic figures here. They're quite useful. Um, but the bull axie is always nice to strive for. It's gonna depend on a lot of different factors. Um, I don't think it's gonna reach this, not straight away. After one year, I'm hoping so, um, but we'll see how everything goes. There's, there's too many factors that impact this. And if you want me to make a video on that, that sort of stuff, then please let me know. But the last thing you can do, and this is what I've been using this for mostly, is this simulate additional capital. And it looks like they've misspelled additional. <laughs> this, this is interesting. So say I wanted to hone in on, if I were to, take out every eight ILV um, because the numbers are really similar and the gas is way less. So that's probably what I would go for. If I were to claim every eight ILV in a realistic scenario, the annual revenue addition, the distribution is 6,000, okay? What I'm personally, my personal goal is to have a standard annual wage for my country every year given to me in revenue distribution, then I would feel like I have true financial freedom. It's nothing to do with how much you make during a bear or bull market or whatever. True financial freedom is not being worried about your next paycheck because you have enough money to live off of. And that is what I wanted to strive for. So I wanna get this to up about to about 50K. This is all in USD, 50K is probably even a bit more than what I need. I'm really interested in it. So I'm trying to get this number to line up to 50K. Now you can't enter 50K here and have it work. There are all these formulas here and all these other sheets are pretty much just the back end formula formulas. You don't really need them. You just need the advanced dashboard on this sheet, so to speak. I've done the maths already, but basically all you would do is you would hit a number 
so 10,000, and then it would slowly cascade through, and you'll see these numbers start to change. You see them go through slowly. <laughs> I don't know why it takes such a long time, to be honest. I thought it would be quite instant, but it's not. <laughs> okay. So that all bumped up, and on the realistic one, it's about 17K. Personally, I think the bull axie one is very reasonable at the three year point, and you'll notice that. You'll notice the 42K for one year is very similar to the realistic. It's a lot less, but it's similar to the realistic for a three year proposition. Um, so I still wanna get this up to 50K here, because I think that's what, what I wanna strive for. So I'll just bump it up again. And this will actually be exponential because of the claiming of ILV and then that will stake and continue earning money for you. And this got up to about 30K. So really, I, ca I definitely cannot afford to reach that unless something moons and then we'll see what happens. Uh, there are also some charts and things, but they're a bit more complex. They're just talking about how the yield drops off over time and things like that. Um, but I can, go in, I can go through all that in another video if you guys want. Just really quickly, I'm going to close off with the Android. This is my phone here. Sorry, the video is such poor quality. Um, but first, what, what I would suggest doing is getting Google Sheets off the Google Play Store or the App Store. This is going to make your life way easier. Having this stuff function in a browser works terribly and has also i've run into all sorts of issues doing that sort of thing so i already had google sheets so i didn't download it but just same as before you go to the alluvium discord you go to staking which has the picture of a stake on it the emoji of a stake you hit pins and you'll just jump on the spreadsheet same as before i'm sorry the quality is so terrible again <laughs> um so you'll click the account you want to log into and then you have it here that text is really illegible, but I'll just talk you through it. You will just be in here and there's all the different sections at the bottom. You can see the Google Sheets interface for the app is very, very nice. And it should default to that. So when you're ready to, to make your copy, because remember you can't edit any of this yet, you just go to the three dots on the top right, you go to share and export, and you, you can save it as a Google Sheet, as an Excel sheet, as you can see there or the same as we did on this one, you can click make a copy, create the name, wow, took a while then too. And now you're all good to go. It's the exact same process as before, except you're gonna to have to do a bit more panning around, try not to stuff up some of the calculations. Um, and yeah, so we'll just tap the little boxes and down the bottom there, you can see where it says 796 at the moment, it says 10, just tap that and you can type it in. All right, thanks guys for watching. Um, yeah, well, once you're done with that, you just hit the tick and you can do the same as I did just before. Thanks for watching, I hope this was really helpful. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.